thing. We win Pennsylvania, we win the whole deal. You know that, huh? But he's, I'm a man from Scranton. I'm from, he left at nine years old, and that's okay. I chose Western Pennsylvania for my first stop as a candidate, and now for my last stop before Election Day. Because you represent the backbone of this country. Hard-working families. Biden both campaigning hard in Pennsylvania in the final days of their campaigns. The Keystone State, of course, is crucial to both sides as the two men battle for its 20 electoral votes. Let's bring in Senator Chris Coons, a Biden campaign advisor and member of the Senate Judiciary Committee. He joins us now. Senator, great to have you this morning. So tell us about it. Why is Pennsylvania so key to Joe Biden's election? Sandra, great to be on with you. I've been standing at the polls uh, this morning here in Delaware, where I'm on the ballot as well, and we're seeing record turnout. Uh, there are 100 million folks who've already voted absentee or by mail, and there's a dozen states where the counting begins today. It doesn't end today. Pennsylvania is likely to be one of those key swing states that may well decide this election. But like Pennsylvania, North Carolina, Wisconsin, Georgia, they begin counting ballots today. So all those folks who are out there standing in line, those 100 million folks who've already voted, they deserve to have their ballots counted. States and counties decide our elections, not candidates. And I know, and Joe knows, that if every ballot is counted and counted fairly, Joe Biden and Kamala Harris will win tonight. So if it does come down to Pennsylvania, Senator, are you suggesting that there's no circumstance in which either candidate could declare victory tonight? That's right. Um, if either candidate declares victory tonight, what they're trying to do is to stop the counting before it's finished. In Pennsylvania, it's clear they won't be done counting for days. That's what the segment that was on just before this interview was making clear. And we have several other states where, by state law, they haven't even started opening the ballots until today, even though they've had record absentee and mail-in ballots. So if we want to have a free and fair election, we should do, as has always been done, count the ballots, even including those that have come in before and will be counted after. Obviously, Some you folks know are why saying this that, become... no, no, elections are decided on Election Day. That's just not true. Well, Senator, and you know that. obviously, the early voting nature of this is why this has become such a political uh, hot talking point um, all the way up to Election Day. Here's the early voting in Pennsylvania broken down by party, and it clearly tells you why that is the case. 66.1% Democrats, 23% Republicans. It's, it's assumed that we'll see a, a big Republican turnout on Election Day as history tells us, Senator. So to that point, who does that early voting benefit? Which party, which candidate? Well, the early voting, if those ballots are all counted fairly, benefits our nation. We should want every ballot to be counted. The numbers you just showed suggest that Democrats, um, who typically are more concerned about the pandemic, about um, safe distancing and safe voting practices, have been taking the opportunity to vote absentee, either in person early uh, or by mail. Okay. But I'll remind you, in every election, going back to the 1860s, um, hundreds of thousands, if not millions of Americans who are deployed overseas in our armed forces, uh, who are diplomats Got or Got it. Obviously, uh, this year is much different. And I'm running out of time, and I want to get this in here, because this is the Trump deputy campaign manager, Justin Clark, on what they see as the potential legal challenges that may ensue. I'll read this to you. Biden's political operatives have already been distributing talking points and research to delegitimize Election Day results by coaching surrogates to refer to the president's Election Day success as a red mirage. The operatives are advising surrogates and media to create a smokescreen by casting blame all around, imaging post, uh, uh, postal delays or falsely claiming that mail-in ballots that have simply not been returned should be considered legitimate votes that need to be counted. How do you respond to that, Senator? Um, first, I am a top Biden surrogate. I've heard nothing about the talking points I've gotten do not reflect anything like what you just said. Um, they are simply... Every vote should be counted according to the rules and the laws of the state in which they're cast. And in the state of Pennsylvania, that means that folks who are mailing in their ballots up until today should have them counted, period. Senator, final thoughts on the Senate races. Obviously, Republicans are telling their supporters that if the Senate was, would flip to a Democrat majority, that the rules would change and you would see the elimination of the filibuster. There would be packing of the court. 
Final thoughts on that. Final thoughts. What I hear from Delawareans they care about most is getting us out of this pandemic, moving forward from the recession and bringing our country together. I think Joe Biden is the right candidate for president to do that for our nation. And I think he's more likely to be successful at doing that with Democrats in control of the Senate. Anything specific to what I just asked, though, on relieving any of those concerns? Look, my hope is that after the election, if Democrats are in the majority, Republicans will show a willingness to work across the aisle and we will not ch need to change the rules to make progress on addressing the pandemic, on uh, resolving some of our internal uh, divisions and disputes as a country, on tackling things like prescription drug prices right. or gun safety. Um, but if we are unable to find any way to move forward working across the aisle, some of the things you predicted may come to pass. But frankly, that'll be up to Republicans and how they respond to this election. It's a big statement. Senator Coons, appreciate you joining us on Election Day. Thank you.